Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast and the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your notes in Mem to create content faster than you've ever thought possible. And if you want to learn how to create content in the same way using notes that I show you in this video, be sure to check out our free course on how to take smart notes. I'll include a link in the description below. Now let's get to the tutorial. What I want to show you in this video is how I use my notes in Mem to outline podcast episodes, to write blog posts, and a bunch of other things. So a couple of things I want you to notice here. Uh, the first is that these are just random ideas that I've captured. And one of the things that a lot of people do is they don't capture ideas because they think their ideas are actually not that good. And the problem is that ideas take time to bake and often they don't show up to us fully formed. So don't judge your ideas before you capture them. The other thing you want to make sure you do is to tag them so that you can actually find them again. This is what Tiago calls organizing your notes for actionability. And this whole idea actually came from another idea. I was having this conversation with my roommate, Tim in Brazil. I had written this article about advice for freshmen based on a conversation I'd had with one of my cousin's uh, son's friends. And so he said, you could do an entire series titled What I Wish I Had Known. And I thought that would actually be a really good idea. So I said, you know, what I wish I'd known when I started writing. So this one has actually already been published. And so that all just resulted from one conversation that I had with somebody and just starting to jot down random thoughts. So that's the one thing you want to keep in mind with all this. So the first thing we're going to do to get this article going is we're going to create what Tiago Forte calls an archipelago of ideas. And what you're basically doing when you create an archipelago of ideas is you're finding notes that you might want to use in this article. So I know that there are a couple of different things I wanted to use. The first is going to be a podcast transcript from my friend Liz Wiseman. And one of the things I'll do here is I usually will just use a double header here, an H2 tag here. I have one other transcript from my friend Liz as well. So I've interviewed her twice. And so I want to use whatever content she put into these two interviews as the first part of this. What you'll see here is when I go through this transcript, there are certain things that I've actually bolded. And the reason for that is this is what Tiago calls progressive summarization, because when you do this, rather than having to sift through the entire thing, because of the fact that you put the most important things in bold, you can actually grab those things right away. And it's much easier to use them when you create your archipelago of ideas. So we're going to go ahead and do that. One of the things I will do usually here is I will usually just change this from bold. If there's anything else in this one that I might want to grab, I'll grab that. And so for this one, I didn't bold as much as I did in some of the other resources, which you'll see here in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull those in here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at my podcast uh, transcript from her book, Impact Players. And you can see in this one, I actually did a lot more work in terms of the progressive summarization. You can see I actually pulled out certain quotes here. And so we're just going to go ahead and pull all this stuff here into our little archipelago of ideas here. What you'll see now is that I've pulled several different notes from the conversations I had with Liz Wiseman that I might want to use in this article about what I wish I'd known when I started my career. So the next thing we're going to do to create this archipelago of ideas is we're going to pull a couple of different book notes. And the first book we're going to pull notes from is actually Liz Wiseman's book, Impact Players. And again, what you'll notice if you 
go here is you'll see that I've actually bolded these things. And that way they're really easy to find and add to the article that I'm writing. So we're just going to grab a couple of key points here. Now that we pulled a couple of quotes from conversations with Liz Wiseman that I had on the Unmistakable Creative Podcast, a couple of notes from her book, and then a couple of notes from my friend uh, Tim Klein's book, who was also a guest on the Unmistakable Creative. So the final thing we're going to do is I'm going to actually add some of my own notes from this. And this is where your smart notes come in. So I actually took smart notes on my conversation with Liz Wiseman, and I actually had a couple of impact player notes based on that conversation that I rewrote in my own words. We're going to go ahead and add those. And you'll start to see here, one thing that is interesting about this is that as you start filling out your archipelago of ideas, you'll also start to see other notes that show up here and that you can incorporate into your article. So in this case, what we did was we just used blog post idea, careers, and so whatever topics that you have show up. Now you can see that we have all these different notes here. And also whenever we click on a, a particular tag, you'll see everything related to that tag. Rather than starting to write this article from scratch, I have several different quotes that I can use from a podcast transcript. I have several different notes from books, and then I have several of my own notes, which are my smart notes. So by combining progressive summarization, which makes it easy to get the gist of any source by taking smart notes and by creating an archipelago of ideas, I can write a blog post significantly faster than I could before. 